quick uh, turnover and patients do very well. I have done a lot of resurfacing in my time and I still do it for, for specific patients, but my results are pretty equivalent for the most part. I'd like to show you a picture of an okay. individual that we did a full facelift on that had severe, severe actinic damage related to... What does to that mean? Actinic is uh, damage related to the sun. It's UV exposure. So leathery skin. Leathery skin, deep wrinkles. You see it in the southwest all the time. Sometimes you can accomplish you know, a tremendous result with the use of a peel. You have to use deeper peels to make that work. But in this one, we chose a CO2 laser resurfacing and were able to achieve just a fantastic result in conjunction with her facelift. Both procedure. neck and face? We do not laser the neck. The neck was addressed via the facelifting procedure that okay. we performed. So with the patients that come to you for the minimally invasive facelift, mm -hmm. you're always doing a combination of skin procedures as well? Usually. Um, we have found uh, over the years that Typically, the eyes need rejuvenation more so than anything. So laser the eyes? It's either, I do a lot of chemical peeling in that oh, eye region. Okay. TCA peels typically are what we utilize. But we resurface that skin, whether it's via a laser procedure or with the peel solution. And that is on a large portion of the procedures that are having eyelid surgery, brow surgery, what have you. If there's a lot more actinic damage or solar damage or sun-related damage, then we can do a full face in conjunction with the lift, but we have parameters to be safe because you can't peel in areas where you've dissected. So there's a specific technique that we'll do with that as well. So what should somebody look for, and we really are out of time, what should somebody look for in a surgeon that's going to touch their face in, in any one of these procedures? The key is to find a surgeon that has a true artistic approach to solving their problems. Well, how would you know that? Well, it's just looking at the phone. It's done by a lot of research. Number one, what you want to do is go to someone that does a large volume of these procedures. Why is that? Because it's key to, to find somebody that knows the nuances of the procedure. Um, you can go to somebody that's just starting out that's done a handful of this or that, but they really don't know how to address all the aesthetic issues appropriately. And there are new things that are occurring every single day. You need to go to someone that's motivated, that goes to, and has extra training, maybe a, nat a national lecture, one that lectures on the topic, one that's recognized in the area uh, in facial plastic surgery on the topic itself. Now you're biased, I'm sure. You think they should be head and neck trained, facial plastic surgery trained? I think that the, you will find that facial plastic surgery trained individuals know the head and neck better than anybody on the planet. Okay. Uh, and therefore their results are, they're very good if, um, they've had that type of training. But the reality of it is, is not every surgeon that's out there that has different credentials is the one for a specific patient. You have to research, know the, that they're out there getting specific training, that they're an expert in their field, that they've had a high volume of procedures behind them. And Randy, board certification is a very important thing. Whether you're board certified in general plastic surgery or facial plastic surgery, it's important to find an individual who is, who has a large volume of procedures, uh, and one who you have a good rapport with. Great. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Uh, thank you. Great before and after photos, and uh, we'll have to have you back to talk about the other procedures you do in Very your good. practice. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you'd like to see this program online, visit our website at wellnesshour.com. For now, I wish you good health. Here you go. Okay, you got it.